And of course the driver is clear at take me now here. Okay, so our tour will take 45 minutes to an hour. We'll be having three stop overs. And every stop over will be given five to seven minutes to take some pictures. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour. And if you have further questions, sit, ask, just ask me later. <coughs> Okay, so to start with on your left side, we have a fishing village. So if you wish to catch some fishes out there, we'll provide the fishing rods and beach ball. And then once you catch the fish, it's either tilapia or tita. It is already considered a salt, so you have to pay for it. 240 pesos per kilo of tilapia or St. Peter's fish. And then 270 pesos per kilo of the tita or catfish. <coughs> Mm -hmm. On your left are again Philippine brown deer or the native deer. Yeah. So if we cut something, you can eat it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not available for hunting. Okay. <laughs> it's what it they do. Okay, so on the far right side, we have Revista cabbages. So those brown cabbages over there. So good for two persons per week. 4,400 pesos per night with breakfast. And then on your right side again the yellow building, so that is our biggest function, all the garden hall. It can accommodate up to 300 people, making it suitable for conventions, seminar workshops, team building activities, wedding ceremonies, and other functions. What's the rate? Great, that's a uh, it depends upon the package that, we'll, that you will have in this room. Front office. <coughs> On your left, sir, again, another consumption area for Philippine brown deer, so the native deers. Mm -hmm. So they started in just one pair, and now we have about 30 Philippine deers, about 3-0. And for now, they consider this endangered species. That's why we're propagating them. So we fit them in our leftover lettuce. Our lettuce. Lettuce. Oh, organic. Yeah, organic. Actually, we have a lettuce. Lettuce. Taro. 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 And then some of them are less visible here this way because they are being camouflaged into the grounds or the rounds. Pick some, sir. So third on the right side, we have a vegetable garden. So they are all hydroponics, water working system, organic way of planting, and we're not even using chemical sprays or pesticides. So it's a water flowing. Sorry? It's 
Sorry. Kasi one day, serve today po sa yes. Later on, on your lunch. Inner lunch. Okay. Wow. So we have relief lettuce and then the red salad bowl lettuce. Or lettuce. So again, it is served in a restaurant if you feel a bit the lunch or dinner package. And they are being harvested after 35 days, one month and five days. It's the red salad bowl lettuce. Wow, look at that. This is ready for harvesting. Yes. Also, we have uh, salad tomatoes, tomato. They are being harvested after 77 to 134 days. Anything you're asking is an apple. Wow. So, if you want to buy some of it, it's available in a restaurant. Also, for selected supermarkets. Simply look for the Eden Seal or Eden Fresh. On the right, Saragan Holiday Lodge. So, that is a duplex tavern cottage. In one building, there are four rooms. Good for two persons per week. 4,400 pesos per night with breakfast. Good for two. So, on our love, Saragan Holiday Terraces. So, another multi purpose function mode. Can accommodate up to 70 people, 70. Good for seminar workshops, wedding receptions, small gatherings. Retreats and other functions. And then on your top left, we have a mangosteen orchards. Oh, mangosteen. There's no fruit for sale? Yes, Papa. Meron? No. Uh, out of season for now. From June to November is the bearing season. Garcinia mangosteen and covers three hectares of the resort. Wow. And don't you know that one mangosteen is equivalent to 10 mangos? Wow. Oh, my good thing. Ah, <laughs> you got it. That's a joke. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? I didn't get it. It's kind of a logic. It's kind of a logic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ayan, so these are the red salvia flowers. Red salvia. So we also have native durian, please. This one. This one? Like yes. Oh, all of that? Yes. This one, this one, and that one. So, uh, one of the most popular varieties here in here in Davao City, native durians. <coughs> okay, so we're now in our first stop over, which is the flower garden in the amphitheater. So, as you can see, around this set of different kinds of flowers. So, they usually grow up in cold places such as Bayou City or Tiger Plant. So, we have a pretty bottom, salsa, silosha, zinnia lilbot, sunflower, cyanoglossum, is the blue and pink. Marigold, and of course, the Mickey Mouse plant. That's the Mickey oh, Mouse plant. The one they sell outside. So we also have an improvised rainbow. No, there's no particles or left in there. It's just an improvised. You can do it for the main particles. <laughs> so, five to seven minutes. Take some pictures. Can you go down, everyone? Um, I'll be down to take your photo, man. That's a good one. Okay. <laughs> 